investments. So, uh huh. So, DPI is ten for what? Paulina, Pear, uh -huh. uh -huh. and Emmanuel. Uh -huh. Those are those it's a, it's a, it's a combination. You combine the name name of our children. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. We make it a generational business. Okay. Yeah. So, our viewers, we are actually here live at the um, Expo Valfest Bay, and we are here at the uh, PPI Investments. Yeah. And then I'm with with a gentleman here, and as you can see here, this. And as, they, as you know, as young people, we have young people that are there at home doing nothing, waiting for the government, waiting for the change to come from the government. Why yeah. else they can bring a, a change to, to themselves? Uh -huh. As we are here now, say, what is the business? The business of chili and sauces. I actually came from a disaster. I was a very, very heavy drinker. Very, very heavy drinker and each morning my wife would give me a meal that I would not take in. So she had to make little sauces to try and help me come up. So from a disadvantage we turned it into an advantage where we saw that why don't we commercialize our sauces? Because people come in and they enjoy it, they like it. That is when we started, as, as they come in, they like the sauce, give me some. Some say, can I buy some? Until the idea came up. Maybe it's time we, we went commercial. Did, did, did you make this thing in Namibia or you imported them from no, elsewhere? In, in Namibia. Is it, is it, but we buy the packaging, mm -hmm. the bottles, from Plastilo. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but the whole idea, bird's eye chili is one of our, our best ingredients. Give me one. This one. Bird's eye chili. As, as, as you can see here, yeah. this is very interesting. Very, very interesting. Yo, what do you tell the young people that are having their businesses, but they don't believe that their business can go far? I, I would actually say, if... You don't want to live. Let yourself. yourself. Then swim because in life's ocean, you need to keep your head above the water. Because if you are dependent on somebody and that person dies, are you waiting then only to grow? If you've got an idea, Windhoek, Walvis Bay, any other town was not built in one day. So it's going to be a process, but if you stick to it slowly but surely, you will reach steps. And, uh, oh, oh. and one important thing is pray, mm. pray, because you cannot just be on your own, you didn't create yourself. Pray, and, and God another, will meet you halfway. Another question that I have, what are, what are the challenges you face since you are in your business, like the, the beginning? How was your, your beginning? There are challenges. Like, uh, where do you borrow money from? No, no bank is gonna lend to a nobody that just came up today and trust you. You don't even have collateral if you don't succeed. Or where will they get their money then? So we started with the little that we have. If you've got the 500, maybe start there. And don't aim, don't think that if I can only get half a million, then I can never go down. Start with the little that you have to reach that money, then you can reach your step. And one life? other thing is that <laughs> if you are alone, it's very difficult because you must seek cancer. Even the Bible says seek cancer. I am lucky that I've got a life partner, my wife, who has supported me all the way. There are those who are just alone and, and often. But seek counsel because maybe the other guy might help you to say no, don't just be selling. There is people. Go to people, open up a company. It costs this much. Maybe there's someone, a friend, an uncle who that you trust. People will charge you $75 for a day. 150 for a founding statement. Somebody who believes in your idea can see this. They will help you develop. 
they will help you develop. But seek counsel and people will help you. Ten dollar. And what is your last word? For what? For dry. Before we go. I would actually like to say. It's much better when you are young to develop an idea. It's like if you plant a seed and it bears good fruits or it goes skew, it's gonna be difficult for somebody to try and help you when you are old because they will they will say that you're supposed to you went through that process already. This is the time when you are ripe and pure. This is the time. This is the time. Trust in God. Have love, respect, and discipline. And one thing is that to develop your mind, emancipation, it doesn't really... You see, we have an ecosystem where you have a community, you have what, you have what, you have what. All this put together does not form a view. You were created from above to live here. If you start with him, I'm sure sky is the limit. And even himself up there, the spirit, he has his commandments. It, it isn't easy. We have constitution, then bureaucracy. If you stick together and you obey, because it's very difficult, you are intelligent, but you don't have discipline. Mm. Where would you go? No. Then you'll just be an educated fool. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> the help to the people who yeah. want to, to contact you. At okay, last, can you give us your contact details? Uh, we are based in Windu, mm -hmm. in Vanaheda, mm -hmm. in Kampala Street. Mm -hmm. You can call myself or my wife. Mm -hmm. My number is 081 222 4764. My wife's number is 081 312 8419. Uh, we will still open up a social media page because we also know that the power of social media is very, very strong. Mm -hmm. You see? And every day, every day we get advice. Imagine the president has got advisors. Mm. And he's the president. Who are you not to get advice? Yeah. Seek advice. Yeah. Thank you very much Steph, for yeah. your time. Yes. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. All right. Yeah.